mission is to capture and hold the marked objective. Let's do it. Hello, my name is Stuurgen, and welcome back to World of Tanks on the PlayStation 4. So, I had a bit of this footage lying around, and it's getting a little bit old now, so I thought I would get around to making a video on it. I hadn't made a video on the PlayStation 4 variant in a little while, so we'll kick off with this VK3601H game. Top tier matchmaking, we're on Serene Coast, we're playing on encounter mode, and Serene Coast does not have this mode in the normal PC game, but I've spawned from the Northern team, and you can see this VK is reasonably mobile for a heavy tank. Has 100mm of frontal armor on the turret and the hull. Side armor of 80mm is not bad. I think that's on the side of the turret and 60 on the hull. Slightly poor shot there on the chaffee, but I'm not actually aiming them too well. I'm using the Konish gun, the 7.5-55cm, 5.5cm uh, gun, as it has better aim time, better accuracy, even if you <laughs> saw those two shots there. And Yep, I was just about to say that. We are being targeted by enemy artillery. Two artillery in this match, but we will get our revenge soon enough, hopefully. A20 over there. Nah, this chaff is more important. Get a good shot into him, take off about a third of his hit points. Reloaded, aiming for him. Another one into the engine. Bit of a weird shell trajectory there, but that's how it is on the console variant. Moving down the slope, good speed, bounce, KV-1 fire, reload, fire again, we miss due to that artillery shell knocking off our aim, or maybe it was just a poor shot anyway. I must say the, P uh, the PC versus the uh, PS4 slash Xbox editions, the console variants do have a lot more uh, prompts like we're being targeted by artillery, um, zero penetrations rather than just a critical hit or whatever. So they are similar in terms of the callouts, but there are a few on PC that are missing compared to the console variant. Managed to pick up our first kill there on the KV1, who I don't think he bothered turning his hull. I mean, he is a slower vehicle than this tier 6 German heavy tank. But he still could have done a little bit more there instead of just turn his turret. Our team is predominantly, well, at least four or five of them are over there at the cap. And me and these two tank destroyers, after I turn the HUD off for some reason, I don't know why I do that at all. <laughs> this is a uh, recorded file, so it's a bit weird for me to do this. Maybe I just wanted to have a look at it without the HUD on. Hmm. Oh well. Strange behaviour from myself there in the past. <laughs> artillery located, however. Both of them are lower tier artillery. Firing on the move is not as effective as I remember playing this VK uh, on the PC. But that one flies true. Maybe it was just a bit poor RNG. So, second kill on one of those pesky artillery, not too bad. But there are still a substantial number of enemies in the, the cap circle, or near the cap circle, and on this peninsula. We've got the side shot of a VK3601, or in fact the rear of him, and he does not look fully upgraded compared to my vehicle. I say fully upgraded, there are two viable guns on this vehicle, but it depends if you prefer alpha damage and less penetration, or more penetration but less alpha damage, but better rate of fire. And I prefer the latter. Better rate of fire, better accuracy, and better penetration. 157 pen is good enough against a lot of tier 7s. Some tier 8s from the side, but most of the tier 6s have problems. Taking fire from the Matilda. Just angle the armor though at about 45 degrees. And even though he has about 120 pen, he's struggling to penetrate us all of the time. He did penetrate a couple of shots there, uh, taking off about 120 odd hit points. But we managed to save most of our HP pool by angling. There's another VK, and that one is a fully upgraded one with the short 88. I believe it has 145 penetration, maybe a bit less, 132 maybe. 
uh, I can't actually remember if it's been buffed, but I distinctively remember as a tank, rather, <laughs> a certain tank having 132 penetration. It might be the Japanese Tiger with the short 88, or it may have been buffed actually in 915. Regardless, it has worse penetration but better uh, overall alpha damage. Four enemies left, and they're all in the cap. So, a couple of tier sixes to deal with at least. This is very nice matchmaking for this tank. It will struggle against tier eights if you've not played it. Tier sevens, like I said, most of them you can deal with. Tiger has the same frontal armor as you. We get tracked. Oh well, we can hit that guy. I think his engine must have been killed. Killed or damaged rather, not that. This guy is not angling very well and the artillery in our team helps us out by tracking him. I go for the tracking shot again just to reset. And you see he took off two thirds of my armor. I'm not angling very well. And for some reason he gets set on fire from the front. Maybe uh, the coding in this is not quite like the PC in terms of German tanks can't be set on fire from the front anymore. But there we go. Just pick up our 7th kill on, I believe, a T1 Heavy or maybe an M6. But there you go, a times 2 win, 36,000 credits, 7 destroyed, 3,100 damage, 1,100 blocked, and a whole host of medals, an ace tanker, devastator, blah 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 blah. You've heard this before. I hope you enjoyed it though, and as always, I've been Jirjan, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.